thank you for choosing College of the Sequoias as your first step on the path to academic success. In this video, we will cover some important information that will assist you in avoiding mistakes that new students sometimes make when they get to college. It's important that you start your academic success on the right foot, and we're here every step of the way to help you. So, the first thing you need to know is that high school and college are totally different. For one thing, you get to choose your own schedule. Want to come only in the afternoons? Why not? Don't want to be here on Fridays? Not a problem. On the flip side though, in college you're responsible for adding your classes to your schedule. This is called registering. Today, we will walk you through that process. Every semester after this one, you'll be able to do it from anywhere on your own, even from home. On a side note, you may not get your ideal schedule during your first semester. This is due to how we issue priority registration. But remember, you need to register on the specific day and time that we give you, otherwise your ideal schedule is out of the question. Speaking of semesters, remember how high school runs from year to year? Here at COS, classes run over an 18 week period called a semester. Typically the fall semester is from August to December and the spring semester from January to May. Summer school usually runs from late May to July. This means you have to complete all your coursework in 18 weeks rather than the whole year and you do have to register twice a year. But the most important difference between high school and college is personal responsibility. In high school, your counselor would set your schedule, your parents received a phone call when you missed class, and your teacher would keep you after class if you were missing any assignments. In college, it's your responsibility to register for courses, to let your instructor know if you're going to miss any class, and to seek out the resources you need to be successful, such as tutorial services and counseling. So those are the differences between high school and college. While we're talking about differences, sometimes learning about college terms can be like learning a whole new language. In this segment, we'll go over some of the common terms used in college, some things you've never heard about, like prerequisite. What, what the heck is a prerequisite? prerequisite? Let's find out. Banner ID. This is your student ID number that you will use to log into Banner Web and Blackboard. Banner Web. This is what you will use to add classes to your schedule, find out your financial aid information, print out transcripts, and much more. Blackboard. This is an online course management system that you will use if you take online classes here at COS. It's basically an online classroom. Course repetition. A course may be repeated two times to improve a grade below a C, including a W. FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. You will use this application to apply for financial aid. Giant email. This is an email we will use for all correspondence. It is found by accessing your Banner web account. Check this regularly. Placement scores. The placement test places you into the English or math class that is most appropriate for your skill level. Prerequisite. A class you must take to build your skills in order to take the next class in a sequence. Student Education Plan. SEP. An SEP is a semester-by-semester -semester plan of courses based on your educational goal. You must meet with a counselor to complete your SEP prior to your second semester of attendance. Unit. As a rule, the more units a class is, the more time you spend working on course material each week. A student is considered full-time when they are enrolled in 12 units or more. Waitlist. If seats become available, those on the waitlist will be registered for open seats in the order they are on the list. Remember, being on a waitlist does not guarantee you a seat in a class. Counseling is possibly the most important thing you can do while you're a college student. There are several reasons why you must meet with a counselor. During the first semester, you must create a student educational plan. We've just learned that an SEP is a roadmap to your academic goal. So it makes sense that we require you to complete an SCP during your first academic semester. Failure to make this appointment will put a hold on your next semester's registration. The second reason why you should meet with a counselor on a regular basis is if you change your major or your educational goal. Did you know that CSUs and UCs require different educational plans? To keep you on track, it is important to notify your counselor if your plans change so we can keep you making progress towards your educational goal. The third time it's important to meet with a counselor is when you plan to transfer or when it's time to graduate. Imagine getting ready to graduate and realizing that you can't because you didn't fill out a graduation application with your counselor. Basically, it's important to meet with your counselor on a regular basis to keep you on track and successful. Remember, registering for class
classes is all on you. Even when you meet with a counselor, they are not putting you into your classes. And with that, here's a quick tutorial on the registration process. When registering for classes, the first thing you'll need to do is open up a new web page and go to www.cos.edu. If you haven't checked the class schedule yet, you can do that by clicking the magnifying glass that says Class Search. First, check which term you want to search for, then click Select Term. You may search for all COS classes by simply clicking the Search button at the bottom right of the screen. You may also narrow your search down by using our various filters. You may select a certain subject or course number. For example, if you're looking for English 251, you'd select the subject of English and then type in the course number of 251. You may search for a certain class by using what we call its CRN, or Course Reference Number. Each class has its own five-digit number that it's identified by. You'll use these numbers when it's time to register for your chosen classes. You may also search for a class by its title, the title is the longer, more descriptive name for the class. If you're looking for a short-term class, which is a class that doesn't last the whole semester, you can click on Other Than Full Term. To look for a class on a specific campus, you may choose location. Remember that we have three different campuses in our district, Visalia, Tulare, and Hanford. Distance education includes online classes and hybrid classes. A hybrid class means that the class meets half online and half in person, so you can choose to include, exclude, or show only the distance education classes in your search. If you have a favorite instructor, you may choose to search by the instructor. Looking for a class that starts at 10 a.m.? You may search for classes by their start time or end time. You may also search for classes that take place on certain days. Lastly, you may search by open classes only. This will only show you the classes that are not full yet. Be careful when choosing your search criteria. If you choose too many options, the search may not work correctly. If you find that it's not working the way you want it to, just click on the reset button and start over. The class schedule is in alphabetical order. First, you may search by the subject. Once you've found the subject that you want, you can search by the course title and number. But be sure to look at the location of the class. We have three campuses in our district, the Visalia campus, the Hanford Center, and the Tulare College Center. Once you've found a class that you want to register for, write down the five-digit CRN for the class. Repeat these steps until you've found all the classes that you would like to register for. So now that you have the CRNs for the classes that you'd like to take, go back to www.cos.edu and click on the link to BannerWeb in the upper right corner of the screen. Log into BannerWeb using your user ID and your PIN. If you don't know your student ID number yet, you can try using your social security number as your user ID. The first time you log in, your PIN will be your birth date in six digits. Two for the month, two for the day, and only the last two of the year. Once you're in BannerWeb, click on the link to Student Services and Financial Aid. Next, click on Registration, then click on Add or Drop Classes. Select the term that you'd like to register for, then click Submit. You should now be on the Add or Drop Classes screen. Enter one or more of the five-digit CRNs in the boxes provided near the bottom of the screen. Then click Submit Changes. You should now be looking at the classes that you have registered for. If there was an error, that means the registration didn't go through and you are not in the class. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call one of our campuses for assistance. You'll find all of our contact information on our website, www.cos.edu, toward the bottom of the page. We can't stress enough how important it is to remember that while it is awesome to be able to decide your own schedule and enjoy all the other freedoms that come along with college, you must take proactive steps to be successful. Not to stress you out more, but are you aware that College of the Sequoias is a district? This means that we have multiple locations to serve you. It also means that when selecting the location for your classes, you must be mindful that there are three different district sites to choose from. It also means that you must be mindful when selecting classes to choose the appropriate campus for you. If at any point you get confused or need help, remember that we have friendly staff available at every district site who can assist you. In Hanford, the hub is the central area of activity in the education building. In Visalia, the Welcome Center is located across from Financial Aid in the Sequoia Building. And finally, in Tulare, you can visit the Student Services Kiosk located in Building A. We know this is tons of information, and it can feel really overwhelming to start college. But we are so excited to help you.
on your way to success. Welcome to the College of the Sequoias.